All right, let's make a real quick video on Unify, specifically Unify backups. So I use Unify to manage my access point and a little eight port switch that sits on my desk. I do have a my main switch running is Cisco. I might replace that sometime in the future, but we'll see. So this runs in Kubernetes as part of my over environment, not the OpenStack environment. Um, and as a result of that, I do tend to blow things away in my lab a fair bit. So it's good to have a backup. But what is really tedious is coming in here and you got to click settings, system settings, maintenance, backup and restore, and then download backup. I mean, that that's a lot to do. And honestly, I'm not going to do it all the time. So the easiest way to get around this is to automate it. And I do like to automate things and I generally like to use Ansible. So what I've done is I've created a playbook over here. Um, and a workflow. So I have this unified backup playbook and it's going to run on a schedule. And then if it's successful, it'll send me a message on Telegram, say, hey, I'm successful. If it fails, it'll send me a message on Telegram, say, hey, I've failed. I've done this for a few things, like, um, for example, the Coop Spray deployment. Um, have a workflow for the Coop Spray deployment. It does a similar thing. It syncs in a bunch of repos, does the deployment, and then sends me a Telegram notification whether it succeeds or fails. Really cool system, really great to automate things, really e easy to schedule them, and then I can just forget about making backups. So let's take a quick look at that playbook and what that looks like. So this is the playbook. The first thing we do is we have a variable for backup host. And then we have some vars that are imported from a Ansible vault file which is just username, password, things that I don't necessarily want to publish on GitLab. And then the first thing I need to do is get a cookie from Unify to show that we're authenticated, and then we can proceed from there to make the backup. So we basically reach out to URL, which is, again is a variable, which will make it easier to, for anyone on the internet who wants to use this to use it. It should work for everyone. Then we are sending a post. It's going to be a format JSON. And we're just going to send it username, and the username will be the variable username coming from Ansible Vault, and the password will be the variable password coming from Ansible Vault. Then we're going to validate so it's false. Um, I, I don't have a proper TLS certificate for my Unify deployment. I did recently get Cert Manager working in Kubernetes, so that might change in the future, but at least for now it, it's invalid, so we just validate it's false. Then we register that to the login variable, and that will become important soon. Then I've just got a debug statement while I worked out where the cookie was saved and did some debugging, etc. So now we need to make a curl request to API's default command backup. And this is going to tell Unify, hey, go and make my backup of however many days I've asked for. So it's a post, again, JSON, and we're going to send it backup and the number of days we want to create a backup for. And here, here's where the login cookie becomes relevant. So we also pass it the headers argument, and we send it the cookie, which comes from the login variable under cookie string. And because we have a valid cookie from our successful login, this works, and Unify starts to create that backup. And what it returns is a bunch of stuff, but as part of that bunch of stuff, there's a URL, and that URL tells me where to download the backup from. So what we do is we register the backup path, and then again some debugging. I had to had to debug here and figure out exactly where that was saved, and I found it was under backup path JSON data first array URL. So now we need to download the backup. So we send a GET request to the URL and then the backup path that we just got using our cookie again, and we save it to a destination file, which is wherever we wanted to find that as our backup destination. And then I'm just going to get the date because I want the date in my backup to know when it was last run and how recent it is. And I'm going to save it to underscore backup.unf. So if we go back here and we go back to the jobs and we go unify backup and on this job we can see I've given it some variables. So I want it to back up to Fedora desktop which is the computer we're recording right now. We're going to save it in my home directory under my documents file. 
this is the URL for the Unifier server. And then this is the Telegram message. For some reason, it, the, the workflow visualizer seems to not be working the same way it previously did in AWX. So I might need to look into that and uh, raise a bug. But previously, you could define per task. So if it passes, then I want that variable to be, hey, I passed. If it fails, I want to be, hey, I failed. Um, that's not working at the moment. So at the moment, it's just going to send me the same message regardless of whether it works or not. And I will look into that and hopefully fix it. So yeah, just a quick video. I hope um, people find it useful. I'll have a link to my GitLab in the description. So if anyone wants to use that playbook, feel free. I hope you found that informative.